The first 20 floors of that building are the Radisson Hotel, and the rest is private property. Every single balcony has got a unique design. There's not a single resident that sees the same Chicago as his neighbor. That's on purpose. And also, on a hot day like today, those balconies are keeping that building cool. Because the way that they've been positioned and placed through GPS makes better use of the shade that they generate. Hey, thanks, Andre. Folks, that's a local legend right there. That's a uh, local Chicago reader. He's Andre the Bubble Guy. He blows bubbles at people because who doesn't like bubbles? Aww. These balconies are something else. I'll finish this off by saying that they keep the building cool longer by using the shade that they generate. And this was built at the tail end of an energy crisis in America, so that was a smart way to deal with that. And that building was made by Jeannie Gaynor. She's a Chicago native, a Harvard rock star. She's one of MacArthur genius rat. She likes to show off, and I like that in her. She's the same person responsible for the St. Regis, the third tallest building in Chicago. That's the tallest building in the world ever made by a female-led architecture firm. And this time she was inspired, unlike Michigan. That explains the color palette. We have blues, whites, grays, greens, and this design, right? Let's break this down. This is a technologically beautiful building. Now, the first 11 floors will be a hotel. You see this cube? The end of the cube is the end of the height of the hotel. Uh, that's going to open up in February 2023. So you can start booking your reservations now. Uh, the rest is private property. And this design that you see, that's actually one very obscure shape being repeated over and over and over again. If y'all imagine drawing a pyramid in your head, draw it 3D. Now, if you cut off the peak of the pyramid, you're gonna be left with a weird looking trapezoid. That trapezoid, it's called a frustum. That's what this is. 